students welcome to the video lecture of electrical and electronics measurement in this lecture video we will study the extension of ranges using shunt okay. so first we will understand what is shunt so if a basic dc ammeter if i want to extend its range okay i have to just connect a resistance in parallel with the basic dc ammeter circuit that we call as a shunt so we will see uh, on how to uh, extend the range of using shunt okay. so consider a basic dc ammeter i'm adding a resistance in parallel with this okay. total current is r this is say rsh okay this is rs current going to this is ish and current going to this is say rm so let it is positive negative for example this is the internal resistance of a coil okay this is the total current from the supply this is the shunt resistance rsh the current going through it ish and this is the current going through the coil okay now if i uh, if you want to solve this or you have to expand this the these two are connected parallel so voltage drop across these two will be the same okay so voltage drop across this branch you can write as a i n into r s okay is equal to voltage drop across this branch is i s h multiplied by RSH. Is it okay? From this, can I write the equation for RSH? RSH can be written as RSH is equal to I M multiplied by R S divided by RSH. Right? Now, if I apply a nodal analysis here, if the current law, okay, I can write. The total current R is summation of I S H plus I M, right? Total current R is summation of these two current. From this, can I write down the equation for I S H as I minus I M, I S H as I minus I M, and if I substitute this in this equation, I will get. I M multiplied by R S divided by instead of I S H I am writing I minus R. Is okay? Now if I divide numerator and denominator by term I M, is it okay? Yes. Now if I am dividing numerator and denominator by I M on the right hand side. So if I divide numerator by I M, then I M will get cancelled. So it will only remain R S divided by I divided by R M minus one. Here I am dividing numerator by divided by the I M. Now this term I divided by I M is nothing but the ratio of total current. Divided by the current going to the our basic DC ammeter, right? So this is called as the multiplying factor L, right? Okay. So if I substitute this here, I will get R S upon N minus. So the multiplying factor for the shunt resistance has to be. R S H is equal to R S upon M minus one. So one divided by M minus one is the rate extension by using the shunt resistance. Is okay. So now if I solve it for M, okay. So if I solve this equation for M, I will get or I will get if I I am solving this for M. By cross multiplication, so now R S H will be on the right hand side. It multiplies here with the range. So M, in terms of R S and R S H, can be written as R S 
less aggressive. So the multiplying factor m is given by 1 plus Rh plus Rsh and the shunt resistance Rsh can be given by Rs divided by m minus 1. So the takeaway point from this rain extension by using shunt is that the you can increase the rain by multiplying factor of 1 divided by m minus 1 